Okay, so the issue here is this nozzle is way too low. Let's see, where's my pen? So there, that is, there's like a huge gap here. There should not be. Here's what it looks like when it's screwed in the right amount. So you can see here, there's no gap there. Um, there actually should be, it's kind of hard to tell. There is a tiny little gap. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna screw that down on here and then see uh, how much that helps. Also, another thing that I just noticed while I was doing this is there's evidence that the this print bed is rubbing up against the frame. Um, is it on the other side? Yeah, a little bit on the other side too. So uh, be mindful when you put this on that you don't put it too far that way or that way. It looks like it goes too far that way more often. Disassembling it, I can see why the nozzle is out as far as it is. So this gap right here should be on this side of this aluminum block right here, this heater block. So what's happening is this heater block is right up against this. This is the cooling, uh, I don't know what you call it, cooling shroud. Um, so there should be a, the, the gap that's over here should be on this side. It should be in between the aluminum block and these uh, cooling things. So the way uh, to make that happen is you gotta heat this up so that any plastic that's in the threads uh, will be loose. Then you can unscrew this um, so that this goes away from the heater block and then you can screw this into the same hole. Um, both of these the nozzle and the cooling thing, they both uh, go into the heater block in the same hole. And right now this is taking up most of the hole and this is only in by like a little bit. So that's the fix that I'm gonna do and hopefully that's the only problem. Um, but that would give you the heat uh, problem that you're seeing where, um, so the problem was that it was trying to get up to temperature and, and it was sensing that it wasn't getting up to temperature and the reason, uh, well, this being so close to there would make it not get up to temperature. Um, so it has a built-in thing that can detect that it's been trying for a while and hasn't gotten all the way up as high as it thinks it should. Um, and so uh, it will shut itself off if it f detects that. Uh, cool. Um, so it's not actually an issue where the thermistor isn't reading the right value uh, or the uh, heating element isn't pre providing enough heat, it's that this thing is sucking all the heat away from the heater block. All right. Cool. So it looks like it made a, uh, what's it called, a filament clip. Looks like it worked. Cool.